tyrannical end of the great father is this is the sort of thing that results from it, you know it's like the, the uh, elevation of the person at the top of the dominance hierarchy to the status of some kind of quasi-deity certainly happened in Hitler's case and then the brutal murderousness that can emerge from that those are pictures from the concentration camps at the end of World War II so, you know, so I told you that the, fe the feminine can be rep the terrible unknown things can be represented by the feminine, sort of a monstrous figure, you know but it's certainly the case that the monstrosity of culture is roughly equivalent to the monstrosity of nature you know, and one of the things you might think about is that common ideologies tend to utilize these symbolic categories it's almost as if they appropriate them, so the environmental movement, for example basically says benevolent nature, right, so that's the positive feminine negative culture, because that's cultures out there rapaciously destroying the pristine wilderness of mother nature and the negative individual too, because you know, human beings are part of that as individuals and we're kind of a cancer on the face of the planet if you know, I mean that's a pretty dark way of looking at it obviously but it's one-sided, because you can easily say yeah, well, you know, we're in a war with nature because obviously she's trying to kill us as fast as possible and we better have some culture because otherwise we'd be sitting outside in the freezing snow and you know, you might be a rapacious consumer but on the other hand, you're just trying to survive and it's not that easy and so, you know, you need to have both of those stories together before you have a reasonable representation of the world it's not easy to cope with something like, well, like that it's not easy to cope with something like that and every institution has this potential and this element because institutions tend towards bureaucratization and tyranny as they develop they close up and become rigid and so, you know, that's a rough thing to deal with and then, of course, this is a rough thing to deal with too so you might think, well, you could have a little bit of sympathy for human beings not just throw them in the horrible rapacious creature category which I think is an extraordinarily pathological and also a pre-genocidal thing to do you know, because you hear environment for example, now and then say the planet would be better off without people on it, it's like, well, you know that's kind of what Hitler thought as well, about certain kinds of people anyways, and God only knows where he would have stopped, so, you know, when someone says something like that, one of the things you might think is, you should take a good look at your unconscious structure there, bucko because fundamentally, you're you know, there's a genocidal ideology at the bottom of your thought structure, and you know, you might think that you're an environmentalist, but you're actually possessed by a genocidal ideology, and you better do something about that, because if you ever get any power, you're going to be one dangerous creature.